Abel into his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth. And his conscience felt like, you might accept whatever I'm bringing to most high. I'll bring you something from the ground that I grew. Knowing that the most high required blood sacrifice. All he had to do was suck up his pride and ask his brother for a lamb to sacrifice it to the most high. Because his job was important. You, you got to have, you know, crops and so forth. Fruit of the vine. And crops that grow from the, from the earth. You need, you know, vegetables and so forth. Fruits. Verse 6. And the Most High said unto Cain, Why art thou rough? Why you got attitude? Why you getting mad? And why is thy conscience falling? Why your conscience falling? If thou doest well, if you... If you take your time to ask Abel for a sheep to sacrifice to me, shall I not be accepted? Shall I not accept your sacrifice? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. What's sin? The transgression of the laws of the Most High. It's right there. That he had the laws. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. See? Well, let Satan rule over him. Because that's his lust, that's his desire. To do what? To sin. To transgress the most high's laws. That's why he said, if y'all do it well, you're going to be accepted. But if not, then Satan waiting for you. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass, and they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Rose up against Abel and killed him. And most I said unto Cain, where is, thy, where, where is Abel, thy brother? And he said, I knew, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? His own blood brother. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood. Quiet unto me. And the Most I said unto Cain, Where is thy, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When I till it the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. See? And Cain said unto the Most High, Wow, my shock, y'all was shot. My punishment is greater than I can bear. I said, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Remember, that's what he was doing. He's a farmer. He said, ain't nothing going to come up out of the ground for you. And Cain said unto the Most High, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. Everybody that's it's the first murderer. Cain. So everybody that see me gonna want to kill me. So now, the most high what my shekel shall said unto him, Therefore whosoever Slay of Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. So you can get vengeance sevenfold. And the most I set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. You know what that mark was? 
leprosy. That's what he started here. That's what he did to Miriam. That's what he did to Gehazi. Nathan. You can't win out from the presence of the Most High and dwell in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. He left. So, that's what I say. They, they had the laws. We had the laws. We knew the laws. It's just when we got among the heathen, even in Egypt, we can't remember. It was, we was mightier than them. That's when we ruled. And then, most times, that's why he said in Jeremiah 10 and 2. It always has happened. That's why I always stress how, you know, most people now, they've been Edomized. The world that we're in now. And, and try and justify, you know, his wicked way. Because you want to follow what it is that you feel you can do. As they say, it's okay, but it's not okay. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus said the Most High Power, Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not just made up the signs of heaven. Or the heathen are just made up them. Why? Because Psalm 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Most High made the heavens. Why I say the Most High made the heavens? We know the, the, the nations are dealing with idolatry anyway. They're not dealing with the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Why I say that the Most High made the heavens? Because that's why he just told us, be not dismayed at the what? Signs of heaven. The stars, the moon, the sky, the, the sun, comets, and all these different things that the Most High created through a Mashiach al Shai or, or Mashiach al Shai created through, through the power of the Most High. You see, the heathen are just made up. Here we are, they see certain things. Oh, look, oh, oh. We just made it because we eat them or not. We just like the people that he said don't be like. And that's what we did. You see, the same spirit of Cain is the same spirit that Esau rolling with. And you look at what he said. What did he say? Go to uh, Genesis 27 and 41. This is once Isaac, our forefather, had given Jacob his blessing of everlasting life and gave Esau his blessing of the fatness of the land and to live by the sword. Genesis 27, 41. And Esau hated Jacob. This brother, just like Cain and Abel, here go Esau and Jacob. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, said in his mind, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay or kill or murder my brother Jacob. That's why you see it happening right now. That's a vow he did. He didn't do it per se himself, but he vowed that vow. And his descendants are killing us. They're killing us. To this day. Can't deny it because it tells you who's our oppressor. Esau. It tells us Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Isn't that what the verdict has been? Over and over again. They kill us and they say what? What's the verdict? Not guilty. Not guilty. Who possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the most high. Praise the most high. For well, I am rich. And how to get rich? I guess you would be rich if you. You had four or 400 years of free labor, 1492 to now. You see? And you got everybody now that's a slave to you. 
See, blessed be the Most High, for I am rich in their own shepherds. Pity them not. Own shepherds. Own preachers and so called ministers and so forth. Pity us not. That's why they be all about their money. But as far as the children of Israel, who we are, they can kill us. As long as you come in there and hear what they got to say and, and give them your money. Walk out dumb as you walked in. <laughs> or maybe dumber. Depends on who it is that you're listening to. That's real. But they got to pay too. But the good grace of the Most High, by the good grace of the Most High, that's upon the children of Israel, shall continue. And those that seek Him and really seek Him, those that don't, then you're going to catch what it is that's written in this Bible. See, that's give Baruch the sixth chapter. See, we have guidelines to go by, and it's right here. But I notice people try and find other ways to do things the way they want to do it. When you bring out all these precepts, and you, people still want to do it the way they want to do it. Baruch 6 and 60. For sun, moon, and stars being bright and sent to do their offices and obedient, meaning they always gonna be there. They ain't going nowhere. Being obedient to the rules and regulations of the Most High, the commandment of the Most High, as he put them up in the sky. They doing what they supposed to do. That's why we supposed to do what we supposed to do. For sun, moon, and stars being bright and sent to their offices are obedient in like manner the lightning when it breaketh forth is easy to be sent and after the same manner the wind followeth in every country a bloweth in every country like it. and when the most high commanded the clouds to go over the whole world, they do as they are bidden. They do as they are told. And the fire sent from above to consume hills and woods. Live as it is commanded. And these are like unto them, neither in show nor power. Wherefore it is nothing, excuse me, excuse me, whether, wherefore it is neither to be supposed nor said that they are gods. That's why he said, hey, learn not the way to heathen. See what he say. For all the gods of the heathen are idols. But the Most High made the heavens, the things in the, in the sky. That's what he's telling you. That's what he's saying. What he's saying. Verse 64. Wherefore it is neither to be supposed nor said that they are gods. Seeing they are able neither to judge causes nor to do nor nor to do good unto men knowing therefore that they are no gods fear them not 
knowing that there are no gods, don't fear them. For they can neither curse nor bless kings. Neither can they show signs in the heavens among the heathen. Nor shine as the sun, nor give light to the moon. The beast are better than they. You know, you say the beast are better than them. But they can get under a cover. They got no sense to get under a cup, cover, cover themselves up. And help themselves, help their own selves. It is then by no means manifest unto us that they are gods. Therefore fear them not. That's straight up. <laughs> That's what he's telling us. But see, you lock into these other nations that you know you you following what they say, doing what they want you to do. Locked in the mouse. Who's not giving any promise of, the, of mercy from the most high. And here you are caught up in it. A lot of you are not going to get that mercy. It's, it's leaving. He's, he's taking it off. Only those that are locked into the most high understand, you know, so I said in Exodus 34 and 14. See, remember what was told from the beginning, what was told to Eve. What was told to Eve that was so important to her, that she, she thought it was so magnificent. Anyone? I'm asking a question online. Anyone? What was so magnificent to Eve was offered to Eve? I say, what was offered to Eve Why she fell for it? Power. Right. Power. She gonna be as gods. Remember? You have all this power. Con. Con. That's why Exodus 34 and 14. Remember this. Thou shalt have worship no other God, no other idol, no other being, nothing else but the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The only true God, true power. But thou shalt worship no other God, no other idol. For the most high, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power. See? And that's what a lot of us as the children of Israel got caught up in. We didn't want to follow him. So if you don't follow him, then you worship another, you worship something else besides him. And it's being recorded. Deuteronomy 6 and 13. Thou shalt fear the Most High, thy power, and serve him, and shall swear by his name. You shall not go after other gods, other idols. Or the gods of the people. Or the idols of the people. Remember all the gods of the nations are idols. Or the gods or idols of the people. Which are around about you. For the most high thy power is a jealous power among you. Do y'all realize this? The most high is jealous. Can you imagine what happened whenever he get jealous? And his jealousy and his wrath will be brought upon you. He says, for the most high thy power is a jealous power among you. 
lest the anger of the Most High thy power be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. That's serious to me. Let's go up to verse 4. You know me, 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel, the most high our power is one power. That's the first of all the commandments. Right there, what you're seeing right there. That's not the first commandment, but it's the first of all the commandments. So how anybody else going to say to deal with the commandments and it's telling you here, say, Hear, O Israel, the most high our power is one power. And thou shalt love the most high thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart and your mind. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way, by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as fretless, frontless between thine eyes. I mean, looking in this Bible to look at these laws. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and upon thy gates. And it shall be when the Most High thy power shall have brought thee into the land which he sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. You can't get nobody else out of this. Jacob the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. He's talking to us. To give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not, and houses full of all good things which thou fillest not, and wells dig which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not, when thou shalt have eaten and be full. And this was coming to us in the kingdom. But those that's going to follow diligently the most high's lost that's going to have faith in my Shai See? Verse 5. Say, then beware, lest thou forget the most high which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. You forget them. That's why we got to remember them. Let's go to Isaiah. Fifty-six and twenty-two. Isaiah sixty-six and twenty-two. For as the new moon heavens, for as the new heavens and the new moon earth, excuse me, as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, is the kingdom. Said the Most High, so shall your seed and your name remain. I mean, our children that we have. That's righteous. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another in the kingdom. So we rehearse it right now. Judges 5 11 said, rehearsing the righteous acts. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon, so in the kingdom, we're going to be observing the new moon to another. Twelve new moons in a year. And from one Sabbath to another, from one Sabbath, seventh day of the week, and the holy convocations, shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Most High. All flesh will come to worship before him. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. We're we'll gonna look at the ones that's thrown in the lake of fire, burning where the worms never die in the fire, never come. He's gonna tell you. They transgress against the Most High. How you do that? By not following His rules and regulations, His laws, such commandments. For their worms shall not die. So you gotta fear the Most High. Be afraid of Him. We got something for you. Say the worm not gonna die. Neither shall their fire be quenched. The fire's never gonna go out. And these bodies that he has, they're going to put on the spirit for the judgment. And they shall be in horror, a 
I hate it unto all flesh. I don't hate this. Let's see that. So that's in the new, you sell you in the new heavens and new earth. We're going to have the new moon and the Sabbath and the holy days. It's going to be beautiful. Look at um, go to Zephaniah, third chapter. Let's start at verse 14. Let's read verse 13. Zephaniah 3 and 13. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity. The remnant, the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel shall not sin. Nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. So we're going to eat and lie down, and nobody going to make us afraid. Thus said the Most High. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Zion represents the twelve tribes of Israel, Isaiah 51 16. Shout, O Israel. Sing loud. That's what he's talking about. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Most High have taken away the judgments. See? Taken away the judgments. He have cast out thine enemy. He that our enemy going to be cast out. The King of Israel, even the Most High, while Mashiach Yahweh is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. Hallelujah. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. So our hands are going to be slack. Take care of business. The most high thy power in the midst of thee, the Mashiach Yahweh our power in the midst of us, is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Ooh, what kind of songs he going to sing? Hear that? He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Who are of these to whom the reproach or the disgrace of it was a burden? In disgraceful times. And they're, not old, they're not over yet. Say, so Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that hearted, and gather her that was driven out from the twelve tribes of Israel, the remnant. One third of the twelve tribes of Israel. Listen. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. You will get us praise and fame in every land where we've been put to shame. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I, that's the most high, will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Most High. That's right. So with that, I'm going to close with those good news. 
gospel of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahweh Shai and to us as a people. Giving all praise and glory to the Most High power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and to the Mashiach Yahweh Shai for dying for our sins, the children of Israel. And giving us the opportunity to be adopted back to the Most High power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hello, Yah. So if you'd like to help the Shield of Wisdom ministry, any donation will be accepted and will be very much appreciated. If you send it to P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801, that's 3012, that's P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 901, 9081-3012, 9081-3012. Post Office 20012. And I thank you. I thank all those that are here. Hear the, the message. May the Most High bless you all. Till we meet again. And we can talk afterward. Shalom.